We have a big game tonight in Milwaukee. I am Will Scott. Welcome in to Celtics today. The Seas are in action tonight against the Bucks in this huge game with six games to go in the regular season. The Bucks are a two and a half point favorite with tip at 730 tonight in Milwaukee. Who do you got tonight? Do you have the Celtics or do you have the Bucks? Type BOS or type MIL down in the comment section. It is the pinned comment. So go down and sound off in the comment section. Let me know who do you have in this game tonight. So with six games left in the regular season, the Celtics come in with a 52 and 24 record, three games back of the Bucks in the Eastern Conference, two games ahead of the 76ers. For the two seed, you have the Cavs, the Knicks, the Nets, the Heat, the Hawks as the other top eight teams, and then the Raptors, Bulls uh, in a play-in spot right now. If the season ended today, it'd be the Celtics against uh, whoever came out of the play-in as the seven seed. The Celtics have been inconsistent since the All-Star break, and uh, that is showed here in the last couple of games. Uh, they fall to the Jazz, a, a game that you really could not lose in Salt Lake City about 10 or so days ago. Uh, and then they got it together, winning three straight games, all by massive margins in Sacramento against a very good Kings team. You come home, you take care of business against Indiana, you take care of business, take care of business against San Antonio, and then you go to Washington on Tuesday night and get destroyed by a short-handed Wizards team who at full strength are not very good. Uh, so that was a disappointing loss. The Celtics could not make a three-pointer. We'll talk about the keys to victory here against the Bucs in a second. Uh, but the Celtics certainly have to be better all around. Have to put that loss on Tuesday against Washington in the rearview mirror. But this Celtics team seems to play well against good teams sometimes and then struggle against bad teams, uh, which has been frustrating, at least since the All-Star break. Taking a look at the Bucs, they are 4-1 in their last five games. The only loss coming in Denver against the Nuggets on March 25th. Uh, their last two games, they beat the Pistons by nine. And then last night against the Pacers, Drew Holiday, a career-high 51 points. So hopefully he comes down to earth a little bit tonight. Uh, but the Bucks are going to be playing on a back-to-back uh, -back here tonight. Uh, they were on the road last night at home tonight against the Celtics. So hopefully uh, if you're the Celtics, if you're a Celtics fan, that fatigue sets in a little bit for Milwaukee tonight. And if you're all about the C's, this channel is for you. So go down and subscribe. Playoffs are coming up. We're getting close to the playoffs. Six games left in the regular season. We're certainly going to have you covered with all Boston Celtics news. So hit the subscribe button below. Taking a look at the Celtics injury report tonight, you have three players that are questionable. Robert Williams is questionable with a knee. Grant Williams has a non-COVID illness. He is also questionable. And then Peyton Pritchard dealing with a heel injury. So those three Celtics, uh, their status is, is kind of up in the air for tonight. Meanwhile, for Milwaukee, Myers Leonard is going to be out. Jay Crowder with a calf injury is questionable. He did not play last night. Joe Ingles with a knee, he's questionable. He also did not play last night. Neither did Chris Middleton. Uh, so those three guys are questionable. And then Giannis uh, he was questionable for last night's game until probably six, seven hours before game time. He played and dropped uh, over 30 points. So I'm sure he's going to be active tonight against the Celtics. Be sure to get your Celtics gear before the playoffs. You're going to be repping the Seas during uh, the chase for banner number 18. Chatsports.com slash Celtics shirt. Love that shirt. On sale right now, chatsports.com slash Celtics shirt. Go and get that shirt before the playoffs. That link is in the comments in the description of today's video. Taking a look at the two previous meetings between these teams. Uh, the last meeting was on February 14th against uh, the Bucks in Milwaukee. Uh, the Bucks winning that game 131 to 125 in overtime. Keep in mind, that was against the hospital Celtics. You're without Tatum, you're without Brown, you're without other guys, and the Bucks still barely won that game. When the Celtics were at full strength on Christmas Day in Boston, uh, the Celtics ran them out of town, winning 139 to 118. So the only Bucks win this year was against the Celtics team that was really depleted coming in, and you still almost beat that Bucks team uh, that particular night. Now this game tonight, because it is the third meeting, you know sometimes you face teams four times in the regular season, uh, but this is the third final meeting between the Bucks and the Celtics. 
which means since the series is tied at one, this game will determine the tiebreaker. But will the tiebreaker even come into effect because the Celtics right now are three games back of the Bucs with six games to play in the regular season, taking a look at the remaining schedule. So you face the Bucs tonight, play a back-to-back, -back because tomorrow you go back home to TD Garden and take on the Jazz, and the Jazz still have a shot to get in the play-in in the Western Conference. Still something to play for on that side. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, you go to Philadelphia. And if you lose tonight, that game could be pretty big when you're talking about the two seed. Then the next night, you come home and face the Raptors. Face the Raptors back-to-back um, -back games Wednesday and the next Friday and the next Sunday in the regular season finale you conclude against the Atlanta Hawks. So the final three Celtics games are at home and all very winnable. So if you win tonight, you still might have a shot at the one seed. Because the Bucks' remaining schedule is not necessarily easy because they have to face the Celtics tonight. Uh, they get a couple days off before facing the 76ers at home on Sunday. So that's a game they could lose. They're probably going to beat Washington on Tuesday. But, hey, uh, the Wizards beat the Celtics pretty decisively the other night, so you never know. The Bulls have been playing a little bit better as of late. And then next Friday, uh, they face the Grizzlies at home. So they're two toughest games. Now, after the Celtics tonight are both at home uh, because next Sunday they go to Toronto to face the Raptors in the regular season finale. So if the Celtics win tonight, here are the number one seed scenarios for Boston uh, because both teams have five games left. So if the Celtics win tonight, they finish 5-0, and Bucks finish 3-2, and the Celtics are the one seed, or 4-1, and Bucks 2-3, and Celtics are the one seed. Those two, though, are very unrealistic. I do not see the Bucs going 1-4 and four or 0-5. and five. So if you're the Celtics, you probably have to win out and then get some help from the 76ers at the Grizzlies. Uh, you know, hope those two teams are able to beat Milwaukee because I don't know if, if the Wizards or the Raptors are going to take care of business there. So we'll see what happens. But if the Celtics win tonight, they will still have a chance at the one seed. It's unlikely, but they'll still have a shot to get the number one seed in the NBA playoffs. Now, the Bucs cannot clinch the number one seed tonight. That is not something that can happen because if the Bucs win tonight, they're going to be four games ahead of the seeds with five games left. So, yeah, I mean, they're all going to, they're all, it, they're probably going to clinch it, you know, in the next game, but uh, they cannot clinch the number one seed tonight, even with a win against Boston. Will the Celtics get the number one seed? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comment section. Go down and let me know. Uh, what you think will the Celtics get the number one seed? If they win tonight, they're still going to be a good shot. They're still going to have a shot at it. If they lose tonight, you got to start worrying about maybe falling back to the three seed because you still got to face the Philadelphia 76ers this season. Let's get in to my keys to victory now. What do the Celtics have to do to win this game tonight? Number one key to victory for me is make threes. I understand that you gave up 130 points the other night and defense was a massive problem in Washington. But you win 11 of 44 from three-point range. That cannot happen tonight in Milwaukee. You've got to be able to shoot the basketball well, make threes. Hopefully Malcolm Brogdon and company are draining them tonight. Number two is to get Jason Tatum going. And I've said on this show plenty of times that when Jason Tatum is Jason Tatum, the Celtics win. When JT drops over 30, the Celtics are going to win. But when JT struggles, the Celtics are going to lose. This game tonight, I think, is going to come down to Jason Tatum's performance against Giannis Antetokounmpo. And number three is to contain Giannis. Uh, you cannot let Giannis do what he did last night. you got to be able to contain him. Slow him down. Do not let him beat you. Number four is to limit turnovers. You're facing a really good Milwaukee team tonight. Best record in the Eastern Conference. You cannot be making mistakes on the road. Limit those turnovers. And the number five here is to get your swagger back because this Celtics team has been inconsistent, not playing great basketball since the All-Star break. They go into the All-Star break with the best record in the NBA, best offense in the Eastern Conference. They have not been the same team in the second half of the season here. But with a win tonight on the road in Milwaukee, I think this Celtics team would get their swagger back and would give them a lot of confidence here going into the NBA playoffs here pretty soon. Predict the score of tonight's game, Celtics and Bucks. Who do you got? Who is going to win this basketball game tonight, and what is going to be the score? I think the Celtics get it done. I'm taking the C's 127-124. to Going to be a close game, 
But I think the Bucks coming off of a back-to-back -back, uh, might be kind of tough uh, for Milwaukee. I think that fatigue might set in, especially since they were on the road last night. I'm going to take the Celtics by three.